Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday. Me and Mal didn't put the green screen up before she left, and it takes two people. So this morning for breakfast stream, there was a green screen. That's fine. I found a, uh, a royalty-free image of um, uh, a train, and I thought that was appropriate because Mal's on the train. Mal got to uh, Florida. She got to Orlando, which is great. Um, I asked her what the experience was like, and she was like, you know... I wouldn't do this again. And I was like, okay. Specifically what happened is she got on the train and she didn't have a window seat. And she was surrounded by people who were either clearly sick or screaming children who were like going nuts and like beating the tray tables and stuff. So like that was that was when she got on the train. And I was like, that sounds bad. She's like, it was really bad. She said, and the problem was not only was that all terrifying, she's like, I was getting super motion sick because I didn't have a window. So she went and she found a conductor and a conductor was able to move her to a different place away from screaming children and clearly sick people uh, to a place that had a window. And then she was okay. <clears throat> she said it wasn't great, but she said it was okay. She said she would be willing to do a train again, but she would either need a roomette um, or she would only travel in the day. She's like, I don't think I would ever take coach at night again. She said it was... It was not a great experience, but she made it, which is the important thing. So she's uh, now spending time with her family, Mark and Rhonda and Carly and Kyle are there. So that's cool. And then she'll have more family arriving later in the week. I did breakfast stream. This guy just slept on my lap or washed himself on my lap the entire stream. Um, my plan today is to do Loco Roco. Um, because Mao and I tried to do Loco Roco many years ago, and Mao got super motion sick. Two instances of motion sick sickness there. She got super motion sick whenever we tried to do it, and um, I was like, okay, I'll have to do this someday when I'm by myself. And I'm by myself, so um, that's my plan. I'm going to play through that today. Yeah. Uh, okay, I need to get that set up, though. I need to go get the PS5, because I learned that you can play it on PS5. Bring the PS5 up here, get it all set up, and um, have some lunch and stuff before I do that stream a little bit later. And if I can, maybe take a nap. I did pretty well on sleep last night. I've, I've been struggling since I got back, but last night I went to bed at mi midnight and woke up around 7.15 without waking up before then, so that was pretty positive. That, was, that wasn't bad. Where's my Jepson? Where's my Jepson? There's my Jepson. That's a Jepson. Smiling and happy and ready to not be on a train. So I picked Jepson up and uh, I asked if he was hungry. And he's like, yeah, I'm starving. So we, we went through a drive through and then uh, <laughs> I was on my way to take him home, but then I didn't take him home. I took the turn to go to my house because when I'm driving the car, my brain is like, go home. And I took the turn and he's like, well, where are we going? And I was like, oh shoot, we're going to my house because that's what happens when I drive the car towards where my house is. And he's like, that's fine. He's like, we can just chill. So we sat here and um, you know, ate and talked for a, a bit because we were gone for two weeks in Japan, but Josh has been gone for two weeks as well, doing all sorts of stuff. Um, he was actually, he was pretty busy because he went, he was spending time with Rebecca, but then also went to PAX, but then also went back to Maine to see his family. So he's, he's been pretty busy too. Now he's gone. Um, Mal made it safely to Florida. I can't remember if I mentioned that or not. She's spent the day with um, her family and uh, it's 8 p.m. and she just went to sleep because she's like, I'm so tired. So she's, she's done. I have got, I'm in a really interesting spot because I've got so much to do and so much I can potentially work on. Like the most obvious thing is Japan vlogs, sure. But I got a bunch of other like miscellaneous administrative stuff that I need to do. And also I'm currently behind on the VOD channel because we did quite a few streams in Japan 
and I, I haven't gotten all of those out onto the channel. So there's like a lot that I can work on, and the issue I'm having is that I'm tired. I'm just really tired. Yeah, the jet lag has been... It hasn't been super bad, but it's it's still kicking my butt a little bit. I'm not getting quite enough rest, but at least I'll get in bed early tonight, and I think that'll help. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? So I know I already ended the vlog, but um, I was sitting here. It's been a little bit. I was on my phone and just kind of chilling with Kep. Kepler's breathing has become incredibly labored out of nowhere. Like, he's breathing very, very hard. And like, he's just been laying here. Like really, really hard. And I've tried to get him to, to like calm down. And he's not. He has a vet appointment on Thursday. Not for this. Yeah, this is a lot. Okay. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get him to try and like stop. But if not, I, I think I'm gonna have to take him to the emergency vet because this is a lot. Um, This is very unusual. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My evening is going to change a little bit. I was actually, I was getting ready to go to bed. Um, but I got to take care of my buddy. <sighs> okay. I think the thing that I was um, maybe not prepared for is how emotionally difficult this is because it brings back extremely strong memories of several years ago. But labored breathing can be a number of things, so I'm gonna cross my fingers that it's um, not a big one, not a big problem. He's not gone. <sighs> He's not gone. It's just bad. It's just, it's just bad. And it's, it's not, it's not even that it's a huge surprise. I mean, I always, the poor boy has had, you know, health issues. I always, you know, it was going to be his intestines or his heart and it's his heart. His lungs filled up with fluid and he has heart failure. And, um. They're going to do what they can. There is a chance. There is a chance that he'll, you know, be able to get past this. And if he gets past this, then um, we'll be able to, you know, take him home. They said, you know, he probably, he probably would live less than a year. Um, said like two years at the absolute most, but probably less than a year. And, uh, you know, based on the percentages and stuff, I really wanted to try. I really wanted to try. <sighs> we, we lost Sagan so suddenly. 
And it feels like, you know, to an extent, I'm losing Kepler very suddenly, too. And I know he's, he's, he's alive right this second, but, like, they made it very clear to me that he could, you know, he could be gone any second. Like, the, they said he, he came in and he's, he's not doing good. And his, his condition was declining during a time when they expected him to start stabilizing, and he hasn't. They said that I was correct in bringing him in. They said if he wouldn't have brought him in, he would have died. I think... I think I was not prepared for the level of trauma that just came back to me. I just existed in there with a knot in my throat the size of a softball. And um, I felt like I just held back tears the entire time because I'm thinking, God, not again. one of the reasons I wanted them to try and just to do what they could is that um Mal's not here <laughs> and um I really I, I really don't want him to pass away while Mal is not here I really want them to try and do what they can so Matt can see him again it, it would I think it would just really destroy her you know and like there's nothing we can do like if it happens it happens but god that just I feel so bad for Mel and I have to call her I she went to bed early I had texted her and just said hey something's up with Kep He's got some really labored breathing. I'm going to take him to the emergency vet. So I sent that text. I know she's asleep. And I have to call her. And that's just going to be a hard phone call. If Kepler does okay, he's going to be here for like two to three days. And it's, it's, not, it's not cheap. But it's one of those things that like, when Sagan, when Sagan passed, you know they they had the uh, they had the ability to try and save him, and the vet was like, "Listen, you know, if we do this, it's such a low percentage, and he may die on the operating table, and you know, it's." I just trust the vet in that that sense, instance. I'm like, "Hey, what would you do?" And at that point, the vet was like, you know, when we were dealing with Sagan, she was like, I, I think it would be much more ethical to let him go. But Cap has a higher percentage chance right now based on what they're saying. Like, he can decline. But like right now, it is, you know, it's possible, so I want to try. And if it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. Life comes at you fast, man. There's, there's no indication to me when I woke up this morning that this would be the case. Sagan had, like, one or two bad days before he went. Like, it was clear something was wrong. And there was no part of me that believed Sagan would die. None. Because I was like, he's seven. <laughs> Can't die when you're seven. But things are so different now. Not only do I know that Kep has issues, but, like, I have so much trauma from Sagan that, like, oh, I'm like, oh, yeah, no, he can, he can die. That's how this works. I'm supposed to go home and sleep, and they'll call me in the morning, and I'm like, how am I supposed to sleep?
I want him to be okay. And I mean, again, even if he survives, like, things aren't okay. But it's just, it's about, it's about Mal. Like, I want her here. And I feel bad to even tell her, but I have to tell her. She's there enjoying time with her family. And her sister and her, her grandma's going to be arriving soon and, like... You never know what each day will bring. Days can start happy and then sad. And this one has started happy and ended pretty damn sad. <laughs>